Nobody wants to be banned from Goodwill. Hey y'all, it's Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for dropping by. And if you have joined me again, thank you so much for your continued support. I got a Goodwill haul for you today, y'all, and it was a Monday. And so, you know, in my area, Mondays are 75% off the color of the week. So the purpose is to find a lot of things with that color of the week, right? Well, I don't think I have very good luck at this game anymore, but I did find some good things. I actually went to five Goodwill stores in one day, and I only made purchases at four of them, so I want to show you what I picked up at each store. So, so let's get started because I've got one, two, three, four bags, and one of the bags is pretty big. The first store that I went into is my favorite Goodwill store, and um, I really didn't find very many things that day that I went there, and I was a little bummed about that. So let's see, the first store was, I spent $11.88 on, it looks like three items. It was, none of these were the color of the week because it doesn't say I got a discount, but that's okay. Um, I did pick up something for myself. Now, I have never bought clothes at Goodwill. I found a few things at the bins because they were new with tags or they would be like a Chico's brand or something like that. And I usually give them to my mom or some family members. But this particular time, I found, my favorite color is blue. I wear a lot of blue. And I found this little shirt and I imagine that I'll wear like a tank top underneath it, but it's because it's so hot in Texas, it's just a little shirt that it has a longer tail, lightweight, it's a blue color. I think it will work really well. So I gotta get this washed up. And I'll be honest, I was a little surprised at this. It was $5.99 at Goodwill. Normally if I'm gonna buy just an inexpensive top, I usually go to like Walmart or something. And so $5.99 is about what I would have paid at Walmart, honestly. So um, I picked it up, but I'm going to get that washed up. I did kind of hold it up to see if it would work, but I think it's just a blousy top and it will work. Another item that I got was really cool, I thought, and it is a King Tusk Largest Land Mammal Traveling the Earth. It is a Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus Animal. It was in great condition. I I would like to wash it up a little bit, maybe on gentle cycle, but all of the um, blanket is in good condition. Um, it still had like the little tag where they hung it. I paid, I think, $2.99 for this, um, and it did have the little tag on there. Um, and I was going to read that to see. This is 1987. So, um, and it was made in, it looks like made in Korea. So I thought this was cool. You know I have an obsession with finding circus things because the Ringland Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus is no longer in existence. So I really think that that is a cool thing because I used to go to the circus with my grandparents. Um, the other thing that I found, I believe I paid $1.99 for this and it is a made in Japan polyester um, scarf, but I loved the colors in this. Now, it's just a square scarf, but the colors in this is amazing. I think that's the back. This is the front, and I love the colors in this. Now, if I was smart, I'd figure out how to, like, tie it up in my hair and wear them like they're wearing them now, but... I'm not, but I did pick this up because it is um, made in Japan, so it's a little bit older, but it isn't silk. It is polyester, so that's all I got at Goodwill number one. Let's see what I found at Goodwill number two. Okay, Goodwill number two, this big bag here, and let's see. The receipt is right here on the top. I spent $23.28, and I purchased nine items. So let's see, there are some heavier things. Oh, I can't show you this one because it is actually gonna be surprise friend mail for someone. So can't show you that, sorry. 
Um, I was listening to people talk about reselling puzzles and new puzzles. So this puzzle is new in box. The seal has never been broken. It is a thousand piece Jane Worcester Scott. It is Autumn's palette. I picked it up for 99 cents. Um, and I think I ran the comps on this while I was in the store. I'll put it down below if I um, can remember to, to tell you what it said. But I thought I'd pick it up just to see if um, it would do well. As I've told you before, if you've been watching my videos that I'm considering embarking on the eBay thing and I thought I would pick up relatively inexpensive things um, like this 99 cents puzzle to kind of put away as to start posting items there. So with the help of my friends, Christine at Side Street Market and Michelle at Newton's Cupboard, if they don't go crazy trying to help me first, I'll get it done. Um, the next thing I picked up, I actually had them price this for me and it was about $4. It is made in Taiwan. It is that, um, oh gosh, what do you call the metal, y'all? What do you call this metal? Let me show you. It's not pewter because it's too thick. Ugh. Put it in the comments below because I've totally forgotten what you call this metal. And we see this all the time here in Texas. Um, a lot of times we get it over in Mexico, but I love this kind of strainer basket it looks like. And it says it's A and E Court copyright 1995 and it does have some stickers made in Taiwan. Now two of the little footed pieces there are missing. There's two without those but I love the detail in the face and it actually has a little gem or jewel or marble or something for the eye. Let me show you the mark because if you're familiar with this mark right here, this maker, A and E Court, um, give me some information about it down below. But I really like the um, shiny silver pieces, like I have several crosses and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what this would be used for, but it was pretty. So I picked that up as well. All right, some other things that I picked up on this day. I found this trim in wire. It is a five inch heart counted cross stitch um, and it's new in package. And originally it was from Target. It has a barcode on it and it has 1987 is when that was, but I thought this was pretty cool. Merry Christmas. And some people have started talking about taking up cross stitch, and this should be a relatively easy one to pick up, and I do not see a price on that. So I have no idea how much I paid for that. Um, you know I'm all about sweet treats, and I love me some molds. So look at these molds. Now this came in a package with these four molds, and the little Christmas cake recipes. So I think there's only four molds and it is the shooting star, a Christmas tree, a heart, but look at that Santa face. Now I love that one. This is a spice cake. It says one recipe fills all four pans. These cakes are also delicious when you include one fourth cup currants and raisins or mixed dried fruits and nuts. <laughs> Now, I don't know about that. I'm just going to be honest. But the cake sounds good and the frosting sounds even yummier. So I may try those, at least the recipe, but I thought this was pretty cool and I paid a dollar for that. All right, let's see. I found a new in box. It is a Nico made in Japan salt and pepper set. This is the box. So they're not too ornate, but um, it looks like maybe it could have been a pattern that people may have had. And they, since they are new in the box, I did pick those up. Again, they are made in Japan. They are marked so on the bottom right there. They've got bigger stoppers and um, I love the little design. So just something to add a little bit of the Christmas flair. Uh, to the dining room table. You know, you, if you have a big family, you always need more than one salt and pepper shaker. Or if you have a dining room and a kitchen table, you need those as well. So this one has, let's see. Oh, this one has one more. So you see the holes. 
but I thought these were cute, so I picked those up. Not something so flashy, but it very functional, so I did pick those up as well. Let's see. Another thing that I picked up is, now this is again for, oh look, there's one of the little feet for my fish. Good deal. I guess I was only missing one, and maybe there's something that is got an extra one or only one over there but this was brand new and this is the brand 31 if you can see that tag way down there and 31 is a bag or compartment type of um it's almost like Avon or um, something like that. It, they have little shows and stuff, and I have several 31 things. Um, I have a um, rollout blanket like you put in the back of the car. I have a lunch kit and a little um, insulated cooler, but the parties are really fun to go to. They have some cute stuff, but look how darling this little bag is. Now, I don't know if it originally was like to hold like baby things or something like that, maybe toys or a Christmas gift or something, but it still has the little packet in it indicating that it's new. It's a little reindeer. So again, I only paid 99 cents for this it collapses does not take a lot of storage and so that's one of those things that I may try for a um, eBay listing when I get very courageous all right let me show you something else now I posted this one on Instagram I have never picked up a purse before but I'm absolutely in love with this purse I love the orange color the flower was all intact the maker on the inside was Mar Y Soul. So Mar E Soul. And it is handmade in Madagascar. Is that what that says? Yeah, handmade in Madagascar. It's got the wooden handles in there. It's very clean on the inside. Now, I will say I paid $8 for this. I don't think I've ever paid $8 for anything, especially at Goodwill. But I really did love this design, and they go for quite good prices on eBay. I checked all of the seams um, here, and they're in great shape. There was nothing wrong with it. So I did say I'll take a chance on it and pick it up. And I have had some great interest in it just from my Instagram post. And then just when I was kind of going, well, this isn't a very good shopping experience. I mean, I've picked up a few good things, but nothing that really makes me want to say yay. I pushed the buggy around the corner and one of the end cap baskets, you know, if you go to Goodwill, they always have those baskets on the end, had this in it. Now, can you believe it is an Aladdin school lunch kit, new positive lock. It contains the Aladdin thermos bottle but it is a metal plaid lunch box. And when you open it up, it does have the thermos inside. It has a lot of the little things about school and um, it says safety first is an important rule at home, at play and in your school. The school patrol is on guard each day and they know the rules you should obey. So watch for cars and each step you take and cross at the corners for safety's sake. There's really no need to play in the street since playgrounds are better places to meet. Learn all the rules of the games you play. They'll be safer if done in the proper way. Remember to walk, not run, in the halls. Keeping to the right will save you from falls. When lunch is over, clear the trash away and go on to have fun in the safety way. These safety rules are published as a contribution to the child safety campaign of the National Safety Council. But I love the little pictures in that. And it does indeed, remember these little latches y'all, do y'all remember those? To hold down your sandwiches and your chips. Um, but it does have the little matching thermos inside. It does have the cup lid. It does have the stopper. It is the Aladdin plaid. It is pretty clean in there. Now I probably wouldn't put anything in there. It looks like some of the, there's some wear spots, maybe where water sat too long. But I think most people use these for display rather than to actually use them, use them. So I thought this was a great find and y'all are not gonna believe how much I paid for this. Are you ready? I only paid 
hold on, I'll show you. I gotta flip up the lid to it. I paid $2.99. I think this is a beautiful back to school display, um, which is what I may do with it until maybe Christmas time or something, but I may make an, a back to school display for that. So I thought that was probably the best find of the day so far. So let's go on to store number three. All right, let's see, store number three. I think at store number three, I got two items. I only got two items at store number three. So clearly purple and yellow were not the colors of the week because I got all purple and yellow tags. So let's see, two items from store number three. And the first of those is, oh, I remember this. I love this. Now I'm gonna have to try either to use my blow dryer or I may try this stuff called Undo that Misty Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter and Michelle and Newton's Cupboard have shown um, where it's a liquid solvent that really evaporates but it takes off your stickers from your ephemera without tearing them up. So if you see this was a sticker here, now I'm gonna keep this book because it is a Pure Cane Sugar Plums Sugarland book from Imperial Sugar Company. And I thought this was super cute because we have a sugar plant here from Imperial Sugar and this is copyrighted 1970. And um, it is just a collection of beverages and cakes and cookies and it's all kinds of recipes in here puddings and other sweets so you know i love a great cookbook and oh look at that little pastry that looks like a pecan pie all right and let me see oh louisiana pralines those sound good peanut butter fudge so there is a lot of recipes that i actually would like to try now see this divinity i have never been able to make divinity i may try it y'all leave me a comment below if you would like for me to try one of the recipes out of this book come christmas time um we'll see what happens the Definity is in here, the Fudge is in here, the Louisiana Pralines is in here, Caramels are in here. I don't know how I would do with Caramels. Oatmeal Apple Cookies, now those sound really good. Heavenly Brownies, yes. Mm. So lots of great recipes, but I love the graphics in this and since it's local, I did pick that up. And then, y'all, I bought another plate. Why do I keep buying them? I don't know the answer. <laughs> but this is another Holly Hobby plate. But y'all, I thought for St. Patrick's Day and in the spring, y'all, this would be so cute as a little backdrop. Also, if you are a cat person, this says happiness is having someone to care for. It is marked on the back Holly Hobby Collector's Edition. This is from, let me see, does it have a date on there? Oh, goodness. Roman numerals. MCML, that's 1950. MCML XXII. So 50, 60, 72. I think I'm getting pretty good, y'all. 1972, but I love this. I actually need to have... Um, two Vintage Sisters on my channel. So Two Vintage Sisters, Melissa and Angela, if you're watching, I would love for you to come on to my channel because I know that y'all are um, a little bit more knowledgeable about Holly Hobby and some Sesame Street things, but I am drawn to these Holly Hobby plates and I would love to talk to you about them. So message me and let me know if you'd be willing to come on my channel to talk a little bit about Holly Hobby and some of the 70s and 80s toys. I know they do a lot with Barbie as well. So for $2.14, that's all I picked up at store number three. So store number one, 11, we'll round that up to 12. Store number two, we'll round it to 23. So we're at 35. Um, and then $2, we're at $37 and three Goodwills so far. So let's see what we got at Goodwill number four. All right, y'all, the last Goodwill. 
I spent $3.23 and I only got two items. Goodness. All right, so let's see what I got. I got, it is wrapped, so thank you Goodwill um, near my house for wrapping these things up, the breakables. Well, it is the top to a trinket box, so the bottom is in there. I do remember this. This was 99 cents. It is an Otagiri Japan. It's called Irish Accent, and it's a little heart-shaped uh, trinket box, and I was drawn to it because um, where I am from in South Carolina has the largest variety of irises in a place called Swan Lake Garden, but it is a little trinket box heart-shaped trinket box that does say Otagiri Irish accents there, and I love the little blue iris right there. So I did pick that up for 99 cents. And the last thing from my trip today for Goodwills is, yes, I remember, this beautiful little art glass dog. Y'all look at his face. Look at that little curled up lip right there. It looks like he's got a curled up lip, but he looks to be a little chubby Dalmatian. He's got some great um, accents. His ears are there. It's a thick one. He's got his little eyes and nose. There's his little tail. So I thought he was really, really cute. And he didn't have any chips or anything in there. So for uh, $2, I picked him up because I thought he was super cute. So y'all, that's it. I went to four Goodwills and what'd we say? I ended up spending, I forgot the math now, um, 12 and 23 is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So less than $40 four Goodwills, and a bunch of really great stuff. So let's talk favorites. I think my favorite is gonna have to be the lunchbox because it had the thermos with it and it's a super cool plaid lunchbox, little metal one. It's my first metal lunchbox to pick up. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite. And I would love to shop with you at Goodwill. Unfortunately, the Goodwills in my area have a hard and fast rule about no filming. Um, they actually even walk over to me if I am video chatting with my mom or Christine or Michelle or somebody else. They actually walk over to ensure that I'm not filming. So I have already asked them. They have already said no. I will respect that. Um, and then when they gave me the little policy, it says that um, you can be banned from Goodwill. Nobody wants to be banned from Goodwill. So I will respect that I'm unable to film in my local Goodwills. I may be traveling outside of my little area to see what other Goodwills have. Um, and I'll ask them if I am able to film in there because I know people love to do shop alongs and go shopping with us when we go out to places, especially Goodwill. But if you enjoy the haul portion of this where we show you all of the things that we did get, make sure to give the video a, a thumbs thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to share my videos with other people who enjoy thrifting. And make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. I am trying to grow my channel and I can use your help. So that's all I got for today, y'all. Four trips to Goodwill, less than $40. I don't think it's a bad deal. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.